a migration to Hyperforce is basically a standard org migration, one that we have carried out regularly to manage our customers in first-party infrastructure. We check every org against an eligibility criteria to ensure that we postpone the migration of any orgs with even the smallest known risk. And with that level of preparation and testing, we have already successfully migrated thousands of orgs onto Hyperforce so far. And even with that, we are being extra careful. Throughout and after the process, we have technical teams on standby monitoring and on call to detect anything unusual so that we can immediately respond. We also have a robust support process should you spot anything after the move. For your convenience, we put together this three-step guide to ensure you're ready for Hyperforce. The three steps are making sure you are or will be eligible for Hyperforce. After that, preparing yourself for the org migration process. And finally, double check everything is working as they should after the migration. And then you're done, you're on Hyperforce. Let's deep dive into each step, starting with being eligible for Hyperforce. Salesforce runs an eligibility criteria check for every org to make sure that when we migrate your org onto Hyperforce, it would be a seamless process. We run these checks internally based on your Salesforce usage, and we use that to work out if your org is ready for migration onto Hyperforce. Some of these checks include identifying orgs that are using particular services or features that are currently not available on Hyperforce and hold these orgs off from migration for now until they are resolved. There's also other non-technical criteria as well. But from a customer's perspective, you do not need to worry about it. Salesforce may reach out to you if necessary, but in most scenarios, once those relevant criteria changes. For example, a service or feature becomes available on Hyperforce. Then the orgs previously held off from migration will then be eligible and be scheduled for migration. However, there are several criteria which customers can be proactive in addressing them. Those criteria are, you must have my domain enabled for your orgs and you must ensure your request to Salesforce services do not use the HTTP 1.0 protocol. Now, let's talk about how to prepare your org for upcoming upgrade using the Hyperforce Assistant. Once your org is eligible, when you log into your Salesforce org, you'll see a prompt that talks about Hyperforce and that there's a product called Hyperforce Assistant to guide you through the upgrade journey. Clicking on that prompt will get you to the landing page of Hyperforce Assistant. Otherwise, you can always find Hyperforce Assistant in the setup menu. There are four tiles on the landing page, namely Learn, Prepare, Upgrade, and Manage. Clicking on the Learn tile will take you to the Learn page in Hyperforce Assistant. This page will talk about what Hyperforce is and what are the benefits. And there's also a link to the FAQ page, and you should bookmark that link. But we are most interested in preparing the org for upcoming upgrade and making sure there are no post-upgrade issues. So let's click on Start Prepare. On the Prepare page, you will see several verified checks which will run against your org to check if you have completed the task proactively. So let's try and detect if there are any hard-coded URLs by enabling the Salesforce Optimizer first. After that, click on the Verify button. Hyperforce Assistant will then run in the background to check if there are any hard-coded URLs, and it looks like they have found something. In the Winter 24, the Assistant will also provide a tabular list of URL sources here, but for now, we'll need to go into the respective Apex classes and update those hard-coded URLs. So let's do that. Now, Let's go back to the assistant and re-verify to see if there are any more hard-coded references.
Ah, looks like we got a green tick, so we're good to go here. Similarly, you can go through each of these steps to ensure your orgs is ready for your upcoming upgrade and you feel much more confident about it. And if in doubt, there are also relevant knowledge articles linked so that if needed, you can read up on those in more detail. In the next few videos, I will ask my Salesforce Architect colleagues from our professional services team to discuss in details about these criteria as well as other best practices.